What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. And yeah, it looks like we still haven't learned the lessons of 2016. Here we are in 2024, and we still messing around like we back in 2016, right? You know, with the old female Ghostbusters, the female-led Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, how did that do, Disney? How did that do? Did y'all pay attention to that? There were lessons to be learned from that situation. Apparently, they haven't learned them because you can see on this uh, tweet from the Hollywood handle of uh, the upcoming female led Pirates of the Caribbean movie is still in the works at Disney. Look, all of this female led stuff, this little movement of female led this and that, that stuff ain't working. You know, we saw that back then with the female Ghostbusters. We saw it with uh, what was it? Terminator Dark Fate. We saw it there. Uh, we saw it with Birds of Prey. You know, like nobody's checking for female led this and that. You know, in certain kinds of genres. We just saw it with the Marvels, for God's sakes. That was just like a couple of months ago. Right? Why are we still going down this road, Disney? You know, just, hey, stop, stop, okay? You guys are just burning up money. It's like the Joker in the Dark Knight, man. You're just lighting money on fire at this point. You know, cut it out. Shit, we're about to see the same thing with, uh, what, Madam Web. Madam Web's dropping in a week. We're about to see the exact same thing coming with Madam Web. Female lead! It's not going to make any money. All right? Chicks ain't checking for it. Guys ain't checking for it. It's a wrap. Stop doing it. Like, I just don't understand why they're going through with this. You know, and then they say, yeah, we got um, Ao at a beery is being eyed to star as a character named Anne. They want a younger cast of pirates looking for hidden treasure. Look, this ain't going to work. OK, this ain't going to work. And it's really not. Honestly, it's not in so much with the female led part. Although that does play into it because, look, nobody's looking for girl boss stuff no more. We're tired of the girl bossness. Girl Boss Ghostbusters didn't work. Girl Boss Pirates, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's out. People are through playing around with that concept. All right, let's just move on and start making regular movies. But the female-led part isn't the biggest strike against this. The biggest strike is the fact that there's not going to be Captain Jack Sparrow. All right? In my opinion, if you're making a Pirates of the Caribbean movie and you don't have Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow in that movie, that sucker is D.O.A. It is dead on arrival before you even start talking about it. You got to have Chapman Jack Sparrow in these movies. There's no way in the world you can make this movie without Johnny Depp. And I don't think Johnny Depp is coming back, especially after what happened with the Amber Heard trial. So it's a wrap. It's over. OK, put this franchise on ice for like, you know, 10, 12 years. Just sit it up on the shelf. Forget about it. Maybe then bring it back and you can dust it off and do something with it at that point. But right now, no, nah. no, no, no. No, sir. All right. If there's any character, in my opinion, right, if there's any character you cannot replace, it is Captain Jack Sparrow with Johnny Depp playing him. You can't replace that character actor combo. It's like Robert Downey Jr. and Iron Man. I don't think you can replace that character combo. Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford. I mean, even though I think you could recast him now that he's way older and those movies was made like 40 years ago. You know, maybe you could get away with that. But yeah, Johnny Depp, nah, you can't replace that, that, right? Not right now, anyway. You know, you got to sit it on the shelf and maybe sometime in the future, you know, especially the way that Johnny Depp was done. He was done dirty, you know, so you can't do that, man. At this point, you just got to pull the plug and just say, yo, we just going to get back to this at a later date. But here's the article on it. Of course, Pirates of the Caribbean reboot, eyeing the bare star for a lead role. Uh, Disney's forthcoming female-led Pirates of the Caribbean reboot is rumored to be eyeing one of the award-winning stars of the bear for a lead role. Let's check this out real fast. The bear star Ayo Edebiri is reportedly being eyed to star in Disney's forthcoming Pirates of the Caribbean reboot. Uh, insider Daniel Rickman, Daniel RPK, you guys know, uh, recently revealed new details about the female-led Pirates movie, which is still in development with Disney. Edebiri is reportedly the studio's top choice for the lead role of Anne, who will be one of several young pirates looking for hidden treasure. Uh, Etta Beery is best known for her Emmy award-winning performance as Chef Sidney Adamu in the Hulu FX series, The Bear. Never saw it uh, myself. I haven't seen that, so I don't know how good or bad it is or whatever, but she won an award, so good for her. She has also appeared in the comedy films Theater Camp and Bottoms, as well as voice characters in Big Mouth, Clone High, uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, M Mutant Mayhem. A six Pirates of the Caribbean film has been in the works since 2011. Unfortunately for fans, the sequel has been plagued by delays, especially after the departure of lead star Johnny Depp, who was dropped from the franchise due to his legal troubles with his ex-wife, Amber Heard. Uh, Disney unsuccessfully attempted to reboot the franchise in 2018 with Deadpool writers Reese 
Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. Uh, this was followed by plans for a female-led spinoff uh, starring Margot Robbie in 2020 and 2022. Jerry Bruckheimer, who serves as a producer of the franchise, confirmed they were developing two pirate scripts, one with Margot Robbie and one without. Either way, it doesn't matter. If it don't have this guy right here, Johnny Depp, you can forget about it. You know, again, Johnny Depp is Pirates of the Caribbean, okay? He's the franchise, you know, he is the franchise. You can't go forward without him, a at least right now. You know, again, if you give it 12 years and let this all of this stuff die down, maybe you can reintroduce it. But, I mean, people are still going to have Johnny Depp on the mind. And that's the thing. Like, to me, Captain Jack Sparrow is like, in my opinion, this is just me personally, one of the best created characters ever. I mean, just one of the best characters, a character you just love to watch time and time again. I've seen all five Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and I've loved all five strictly because of Johnny Depp and his acting and that character. And without that character, I just kind of don't care. And I'm sure a lot of other people feel that way about it. People just don't care about it unless Johnny Depp is in it and unless he's Captain Jack Sparrow and he's the same guy that he was in the first five movies. Without him, this thing is DOA. And it looks like the last of a showrunner is behind the reboot. Um, it says here, uh, Ed Abiri is being eyed for the one uh, that was revealed to be in development by last of a showrunner Craig Mazin back in 2023, September. Uh, we pitched it and thought there's no way they're buying it. It's too weird. And they did, Mazin said. And then he and Ted Elliott wrote a fantastic script and the strike captain. Everyone's raiding around. Uh, Ted Elliott co-wrote the first four Pirates of the Caribbean films with his writing partner, Terry Rossio. But again, like these scripts are fine. I mean, the stories are fine stories, but it's again, it's Johnny Depp. You can have the, the writer of the first four pirate movies all you want to. You know, if Johnny Depp's not in any of them, they're not going to make any money. And Disney, you're about to spend another 200 plus million dollars on this thing. And you're just going to be sad at the box office results. I'm telling you right now. And then get this one. The Haunted Mansion director wants a pirate crossover movie. So you got the guy that directed this box office flop. Yeah, let me go ahead and get a crossover with this. Nah, bro, I don't think so. Uh, another option that Disney could go with for the Six Pirate movie is making it a crossover movie with its Haunted Mansion franchise. Uh, Justin Simeon, who directed the 2023 Haunted Mansion flop, <laughs> explained in August of 2023 how a crossover between these two franchises was possible. Uh, I certainly think it's there. It's certainly something I've noticed as a fan of these movies and also of the parks is that a lot of these worlds can fit side by side. Like the crocodiles in Haunted Mansion and Peter Pan. I didn't even see that part. And Peter Pan and Pirates of the Caribbean are kind of similar, said the director. If you've got the mermaids on Peter Pan, on the Peter Pan ride too, there's a lot of cross-pollination that is certainly possible should the movie gods decide. So what the hell is this dude talking about? So you're thinking that you're going to cross over Haunted Mansion with Peter Pan and Pirates of the Caribbean. This is this is the kind of fool that's in Hollywood right now. This is why we get crap out of Hollywood. This is why we get trash out of Hollywood. Oh, this has crocodiles in it. Yeah, it, it crosses over because it got crocodiles in it. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you got mermaids, okay? Yeah, we got mermaids. So, yeah, yeah, why don't you bring the Little Mermaid in while we at it? Since we got mermaids on this, yeah, you could cross over the Little Mermaid. You could cross over Peter Pan, Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion. You could just cross it all over, okay? Put together like a little Disney cinematic universe with all of this crap. I mean, good God on my... Uh, this, is, this is what I'm talking about, folks. These are the people in charge of your movies, you know, coming up with dumbass ideas like this, you know? And uh, look, I know it's going to be somebody, one of y'all in the comments is going, oh, I would watch that movie. I would love to see a Peter Pan Haunted Mansion Pirates crossover with a little Ariel added to the mix. I would love to see that. Yeah, you and only about five of your friends, all right? Ain't nobody coming to see this, but these are the idiots that are making this stuff, all right? They come up with dumb ideas time after time. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean remains one of Disney's most successful film franchise, with all installments grossing over $650 million worldwide. Uh, characters from the film have remained a major part of the franchise outside of the film series, with notable appearances in the open-world video, uh, video game Sea of Thieves in 2021 and Disney's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Look, yeah, uh, the characters that they need to bring in there, there's only one. All right. And that guy is Captain Jack Sparrow. And if you don't bring Captain Jack Sparrow into the movie, then there's no chance. There's zero chance of this. 
You know, if Disney wants to relaunch this, let me tell you, here's what you can do if you're Disney. You want to relaunch uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. All right. You need to do Johnny Depp right. I don't know how you do it, okay? I don't know how you make amends with Johnny Depp because I doubt Johnny Depp will touch this franchise or Disney ever again. I don't know if you just walk up to his house with a wheelbarrow full of money, you know, or a Brinks truck full of money and say, yo, Johnny, we sorry. You know, here you go. And you get him back into the franchise one way or another, and then you do a handoff, okay? Captain Jack Sparrow, he's still, you know, you know, uh, operating on the Black Pearl. He's still doing his thing. And then he can hand this franchise off to somebody while he sails off into the sunset, still be a Captain Jack Sparrow, going on more adventures. I mean, that's kind of where it ended in the uh, last film. But nevertheless, you just got to send it out right. Because if you bring somebody in right now and you don't have like a handoff where Johnny Depp is in the film and he's handing the franchise to the new guy, it's over. All right. That's how you do it, Disney, if you're trying to do it. But you got to get Johnny on board. And I doubt Johnny's going to be a part of this thing because you guys did him dirty. You know, anyway, that's the way I look at it. You guys let me know what you think about this situation. Are you interested in the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot? You know, are you interested in this uh, dumb crossover <laughs> with the Haunted Mansion <laughs> and Peter Pan and, you know, all of this nonsense? Are you interested in any of this crap? It's just absolutely ridiculous how bad things are over there at Disney. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.